Hey there guys, so once again, massive well done for conquering maths paper one and a big well done for all the exams you've smashed so far. Air all heroes, well done. So, moving forward, looking at papers two and three, I've compiled a best guess prediction list for topics that haven't been seen yet and that absolutely love appearing on papers two and three. So, disclaimer, I still can't predict the future yet. So, these topics may not come up, it's highly likely they will come up, but there's no guarantee and just because something has come up already doesn't mean we won't see it again. So, the first thing I recommend doing is checking out this video, which is in the description. Paper 2 and 3 are the ones where we are much more likely to need formulas. So, the formulas are in order, all the foundation ones come first, and from the video you can get a PDF copy too. Second video I recommend checking out is this guy. When you go into these papers, think of them as a battle. Your calculator is your weapon. Knowing how to use your weapon is going to help you in that battle. So, there are lots of little things your calculator can do that you might not know. Make sure you watch this video. In particular, make sure you know how to do percentages and fractions with your calculator. In these papers, you don't want to be wasting time doing them manually because your calculator can do them in half a second. Also, down in the description, you will find a link to my playlist containing every AQA Foundation past paper walkthrough. Make sure you try and do as many of those as possible. Past papers are awesome. Okay, on to the topics. Okay, so if you're not already guys, consider getting subscribed to the channel. I've got a couple more past paper walkthroughs coming up that you're going to want to see. Everything that I have on these topics will be linked down below. So, first up, trigonometry and Pythagoras. So, stuff in right angle triangles to find angles or side lengths. Trigonometry, you guys might know as Sock Toa. Playlist down below. Uh, next up, bearings and angles. So, pretty self-explanatory. I've got a nice video with a mix of angle and bearing questions. I'll put that down there, as well as angles between parallel lines. Transformations. So, changing shapes drawn on grids. So we got translation, reflection, rotation and enlargement. Pretty much guaranteed you're going to see this stuff. Solids. 3D shapes. So things like surface area and volume of cubes, cuboids and cylinders. Also on this I would go 2D shapes as well. So things like area of a trapezium, areas of circles, squares, rectangles, parallelograms. It's all in the formula booklet for the formula video. Similar shapes. So usually similar triangles. So similar shapes are when you have a shape and then you either enlarge it to make it bigger or smaller by a number called a scale factor. A 
can pretty much guarantee we will see these sequences. So, nth terms of sequences. I've got a whole playlist on these guys it's down below. You don't need quadratic sequences, but you might need arithmetic, which is when you're adding the same amount get from term to term. You may need geometric, which is when you multiply by the same amount. And you might need Fibonacci, which is when you add the two previous terms to get the next. Speed, distance, time. Again, pretty much a guarantee. I love this stuff. So this includes um, distance time graphs, velocity time graphs, and just speed, distance, time questions. So I've got a video at least on speed, distance, time. It's down below. Okay, next up, best buy. Pretty self-explanatory. Again, that loves coming up. I've got a video down below. There's also some quirking questions in the past papers. Decimal places and significant figures. So papers two and three, when you're using your calculator a lot, it's very common that they ask for answers to a certain number of decimal places or significant figures. Make sure that you know the difference and how to do them. Straight lines. So equation of straight lines, finding gradients, y equals mx and C, parallel lines, make sure you're happy with all of this stuff, playlist down below. Algebra, now then, saying that there's going to be algebra on a math paper is like saying there will be words in an English paper. So, it's a very vague subject, so things like expanding brackets, simplifying, factorizing, solving equations, inequalities, solving inequalities, inequalities on number lines, forming and solving equations, simultaneous equations, lots of it, anything relevant I will put down below. Use of calculator. So this sort of thing is when they give you a disgusting looking, very decimal ridden uh, calculation to work out. Just make sure you are confident using your calculator to work out complicated sums. Loci, loci and construction. So this is using a compass and a ruler to construct either perpendicular bisectors, angular bisections, or to find regions that satisfy a certain number of uh, conditions. Playlist on this down below. Error intervals, again pretty much a guarantee there has not been a set yet where these have not appeared. If you don't know what they are, video down below. Okay, next up, percentages. Now this also includes fractions, so as I said before, make sure you know how to use your calculator to calculate percentages and fractions. It's a waste of time if you're doing them in your head now. So, this can include percentage change, percentage and fractions of amounts, simple interest, compound interest, that sort of thing. Playlist down below, check it out. Data. So, working out things like mean, median, mode and range and being able to interpret 
what they mean. Off of that, frequency tables show that's when your data is in tables and you are asked to work out the mean or an estimate for the mean if it's a grouped frequency table or which interval the median is in, which one as the mode, for example, stuff down below. Venn diagrams show not as prominent in foundation as they are in higher, but they do come up. I'll put stuff down below. Proportion. Sure, proportion is a funny one. They can find lots of different ways to present this. Very often it's those recipe questions where you're given a recipe for a certain number of people and then you're asked how much of all the stuff would you need for a different number of people. That sort of question. Plotting graphs. Classic. You're going to see this. Uh, very often you will be asked to plot a quadratic graph. Uh, so I've got a video on this. When you're doing this you need to be really really careful if using your calculator details in the video. Standard form. So again, pretty much a guarantee. Um, so this is when you write either really big numbers or really small numbers in what's called standard form. So that's when you have a single digit with a decimal point, anything we like after that, times 10 to a certain power. I've got stuff on this down below. Off of standard form as well, I'm also going to say indices, uh, they like to pop up quite a lot, so I think we saw them in paper 1, but that doesn't mean we won't see them in paper 2 and 3. Probability. Now, again, that's it's pretty likely to be on all three papers, uh, so in best idea for that is to go through all the past papers, scope out the probability questions um, and use the walkthroughs. Sure, off of this as well is our dear friend Ratio. Ratio loves it, you're going to see that on both papers. I don't quite know why they are so obsessed with Ratio, but they are. Okay, and then the last thing is being awesome, because you are. Don't panic too much about these papers, I know you probably think that's easy for me to say, but I'm there with you guys, you're all awesome, think about everything you've achieved so far, a couple of little maths exams, Pff, who cares, give it your best shot guys, uh, don't forget, get subscribed, useful stuff coming up, um, and also remember, none of this is a guarantee. Not everything that's going to come up will have been mentioned in this video because I can't see the future. These are my best guess predictions that I personally would be revising. Take it easy guys, take care.